oh y'all better not call me i'm in the shop i'm telling you that's where the money is like you gotta have to market yourself girl if you don't take your ass to amazon and get them lashes hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing 10 things you should know before becoming a lash tech so I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't want this video to be too long. So backstory, I've been doing lashes for five years now. I dropped out of school to do lashes. Last semester, I was on the way to law school, had already got accepted into law school and I literally have six credits left before graduating and going to law school the next semester. But we'll talk about that in another video. The first thing I wanna say, so tip number one, once you've been in it, once you've done what you needed to do to build up your business, it is easy. It is worth it. Because I'm about to tell y'all some things that y'all probably don't know. And y'all gonna be like, I don't know if I want to do this. It's hard in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie to you. Once you get in the hang of it, it's just like when you start a new job. Like, and you don't know what's going on. I mean, you don't know what's going on. You have to, you gotta learn what to do. You gotta figure it out. That's what I want to tell y'all up front. It's hard in the beginning, then it's gonna get easy. A lot of people quit in the beginning because it is hard when you first start off. You have to start and keep going. You have to make your mind up that you are not gonna quit. Cause yeah, the beginning is kinda, it, yeah. So tip number two is your neck, your back, everything. It's going to be so bad. Your shoulders, cause I don't know if y'all seen the meme where your neck and your back gonna be so messed up, I promise you. Cause you are literally like bent over like this all day long. Your neck, it's so bad. I have to get a massage every week. You gonna be in pain. Some people have hand cramps. First two weeks when I first started lashing, I had tennis elbow and my elbow was cramping up. Cause I was grabbing the tweezers too hard. I understand why people quit in the beginning cause it's hard, but you really just gotta make your mind up for real. But you gonna be in pain. Things you can do, you can get certain chairs and you can adjust your bed a certain way, but regardless, sitting down for hours at a time, that's not good. And then you bent over. I know some people who have vision problems because you have bright lights all day. You straining, you can get a headache, the glue. My nose used to run so bad from certain glues. You gonna get a headache. Before COVID happened, I had N95 masks on deck. So tip number three is you can make $10,000 in a month easily being a lash tech. You can make way over it. I've done most I've made in a month from doing lashes like 24, 25,000. You can literally do it, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it. You either gonna have, you're gonna have super high prices and you're gonna be working a short amount of hours. So let's say you only wanna work six hours a day and you got super high prices, you can easily bust down a thousand. You can do over a thousand. Or, <laughs> me personally, I run a special every Friday. I know every Friday I'm minimum always gonna come home with 1200. Fridays, easy. I do $100 a set, which that's super cheap. Comp I mean, Atlanta, I know girls doing $350 a set. You do, you do three people, two, three people, you good. Or, you can lower your prices and work all day. So on an average regular day, that's not Friday. I can usually take home between like 700 to like a thousand. But I know for a fact, people are always going to book a hundred dollar lashes over 180. I am the one no I tell people this all the time. Girls get trained by me and be like, oh, I want to do $200 sets. I'm like, you can, but would you rather do one $200 set or do three hundred dollars it's like you gotta think smart when it's coming to this so yeah you can either have super high prices work shorter amount of hours or work longer hours and have cheap prices so it's up to you how you want to do it i'm gonna tell you right now you might as well take a lash class first before even thinking about going to cosmetology school esthetician school any of those like spending tens of thousand dollars on school and you find out that you don't want to do lashes take a class first Take a class first. Then if you wanna go to school, you can, you don't have to, it's not mandatory. The next thing is, it's proving your income as a lash tech. If everything is not in order, it's gonna be so hard to get an apartment and to get a car. So if you make that decision, like I'm gonna start doing this full time, get that done 
ASAP and get everything is get your business bank account and get your LLC well you have to do that to get the business bank account but for the first couple of years I was literally just running all of my money through my personal account which is nothing wrong with that but once it was time for me to get my car y'all don't know how many times I done been in a dealership and they like oh, we see all of the money you're running through your account but we literally cannot give you a car get that done ASAP because you're gonna need it taxes do you have to pay taxes as a lash tech? You do, and you're gonna have to pay a lot of it back. I tell the girls all the time, do not quit your regular job to do lashes because you're gonna have to, you, you're gonna be making a lot of money, excessive amounts of money, and you're not gonna think about putting money to the side to pay taxes. You're gonna have to pay taxes. And I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars, you're gonna have to be paying in taxes. The lifestyle is great, the money is great, but you gonna have to, yeah, when it's tax season, don't need to talk to me. So, the thing I wanna talk about is mink lash extensions. When y'all getting y'all lashes done or when you're doing lashes, those are not mink lashes. That is a marketing term that we use in the lash community. Like, you gonna have vegans ask you like, oh my gosh, are these real mink? The answer is no. These did not come off of no mink or no animal. This is an animal fur. Lash extensions, all of them across the board, it don't matter what, it don't matter what the marketing says, it don't matter what they say on their site, lashes are made of plastic. It's the same plastic as the toothbrush fibers. It's just smaller. We all put it on there like, hey, I do mink lashes, like, yes, market yourself that way, but you gonna have people saying Siberian mink, this type of mink, blah, 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 mink, to sell you as a lash tech and be like, hey, buy my stuff. Like I have I have this type of meat left. It's, it's all the same thing. So if you buy from me, I don't sell products, but let's just, for example, say I'm selling lash trays. Lash trays be like three to $10. I'm paying $10 for this lash tray, but I'm gonna charge you like $20 because it has my name on it. When I mean, you can get the same thing off of Amazon for like $7. But you buying from me because you think I got Siberian meat lashes is crazy. Some brands have horrible quality, but once you figure it out, I'm putting the ones down below. I'll tell y'all what I use. I use T-Dance. I'll put the link down below. It's the same thing. So when you first start, I know people who literally like, oh, I need to save a thousand dollars because I'm trying to get these products. Girl, if you don't take your ass to Amazon and get them lashes, stop playing. Make sure you read the reviews, but you don't have to go crazy with the expensive product brands when I can go on Amazon and get them for cheaper. The next thing is if you want to be booked up, nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you, you need to work on the weekend or you need to have some type of availability on Saturday and Sunday or at least one day out of the week. You need to be working on the weekends because you think, think about your clients. People are working during the week. When are they free to get their services? Like, it'll be weeks where I'm literally working all day Friday. <laughs> I'm working all day Saturday. I'm working all day Sunday. But during the week, I'm free. Like, certain days, during, like, take your off days during the week. Work on the weekend, please. Please. The thing that grew my business when I first moved to Atlanta was doing sets on Sunday. I used to be in there from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night plenty of weeks where I'm just taking clients on the weekends and I'm not doing anything during the week. Right before going on a trip, like making sure that weekend before, oh, y'all better not call me, I'm at the shop. I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all day, all day. I'm telling you, that's where the money is. Like if you just wanna do lashes on the side, you wanna keep your job and do lashes, work on the weekend while you off work. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is if you gonna come into this saying, I don't wanna post, you gonna have to post to your followers so that people know that you are a lash tech. People need to be watching your story, like tapping through it, knowing that you are gonna be posting something about lashes. Make sure you marketing your business. I tell people all the time, I know girls who have perfect work, really be putting work into their craft, but cannot book a client at all. Know people over here who have mediocre work and they booked out all day long. 12, 13 hours, they doing that every single day of the week. They market. You gotta market yourself. So the whole, oh, I'm not gonna tell nobody. I don't wanna tell people I'm doing lashes. That's not gonna work. That's the only way you gonna make it. You gonna have to market yourself. 
So even like with me, I have a lot of followers on my lash page. If I go a whole month and I don't post, I'm gonna have my regulars come, but I might have 10 new clients compared to if I'm posting three times a day, every single day on that page, I know at least, at least every day or every other day, I'm gonna have one new client book with me. You gotta post. You really have to post. The next thing is, it's so hard to save money. So you are gonna be making money like a stripper, you're gonna be making them racks. Like once you really get into it, you really, yeah. The problem is you are gonna be running so much money every day. You gonna have the, I can make it back tomorrow mindset. That is gonna do you in. <laughs> Cause it did me in plenty of times. Don't be like me, be better than me. So that, if I can tell you anything, that's the biggest tip that I can tell you. Please save your money, save your money. Hopefully these tips help you decide if you do want to become a lash tag, if you don't, it's okay. It's pros and cons. I feel like it's like a any job. But that is it and I will see y'all in my next video.